In this video, I'll cover the basic use of the main Axiom Quality Assurance products, Spec Checker and Rule Manager. How much time does your team spend ensuring your DGNs comply with CAD standards? I've seen it go down a couple of different ways. It's either you're the client who spends a ton of time verifying the contractor submittal complies to your standards, or you're the contractor who has got to ensure your submittal complies to your client standards. Either way, having to do it eats time and money. Fortunately, there is something you can use that will make the process much faster and simpler for all involved. I'll spend just a few minutes to show you. When you install any Axiom product, you have this Axiom pull down menu here, and you can see Rule Manager and Spec Checker on the menu. I've already got Spec Checker loaded here. The purpose of Spec Checker is to verify that all the elements in the files you process conform to a standard that is enforced by the rules that you define. Those rules are contained in your rule file. You can see here. I have a location and a checker.rul file. Now, the text in the rule file tells SpecChecker what elements are not okay, and it'll report them and it'll spit out a little graphic that tells you that. Before we move through using SpecChecker, it's important to know about its companion tool, Rule Manager. So let's hit on that next. Now, you have in the action pull down menu, you have automatic design file analysis and rule generation. So what that does is you choose in this files field um, either a single file or a bunch of DGNs, doesn't really matter. And you want to choose files that already conform to a standard, you know, because you don't want to choose files that have broken standards because then you end up with rules that support stuff that is not what you want. So you get good files and you use this mode and it'll create a rule file for you from those files. The next option is um, automatic DGN library analysis and rule analysis and rule generation. And that does the same thing, except it is specifically for DGN libraries. And the last bit is edit a rules file. And that's if you already have a rule file, uh, like the one you have specified here, and uh, you want to edit it in some way, either add a new rule file to, or a rule string to it, or uh, subtract it, or uh, modify an existing one, doesn't matter. You can do all those things. And so, you, take note of this location, Work Videos QA Work. If I just pull up Work Videos QA Work, there is no checker.rul file here. So we are going to create it from the file that we are in right now. Perfect. Very fast. And now it's there. It's just a super fast process. So we're done with Rule Manager, and we're going to go to Spec Checker so we can use that rule file. And once again, we have this very same file specified, and we have the same rule file specified. Now that it exists, SpecChecker can actually use it. And you'll see you have a search only option, and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to run it, and no violations are detected. No surprise there, because we just created the rule file from this file. If there were errors, that would be a problem. So now let's make it so that there are violations. And if we open our level manager here, we do have a level named new that doesn't actually have any elements on it. So I'm going to stick some elements on it. A line string and just a regular line is fine. And now if we run it again, now we have zero of two violations corrected. That means it came across two different elements. Uh, and you'll notice, of course, you'd expect that. But the thing that you'll notice is it says violations corrected. What that indicates is that you can create rules that will actually modify things that it comes across that are in violation. So you could say, if you come across a line string or a line, which is what these are, and, uh, and they're not the color we want, then change them to the color we want. Easy peasy. Um, and that is Spec Checker and Rule Manager for you. A um, lot more to it. But uh, in a nutshell, that's what you've got. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful.